We got Iron Mike Tyson on the podcast today. How you doing, man? I'm doing really good, man. How are you doing? We're doing great. Hey, uh, we Mike heard Tyson. that uh, you just did your uh, your hot boxing podcast over there. Absolutely. <laughs> How you feeling? <laughs> I feel better than I ever thought I would feel. Wait, so who are you smoking with today on the podcast? We, we got to know. No, I'm smoking with my daughter right now. Oh, uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> No, because uh, you're supposed to call in like a little bit, and we're like, man, he must be having some fun over there. Oh, I'm having a ball. You want any of this, baby? <laughs> so, Mike, we are big fans of you, and I actually met thank my thank you. I actually met my boyfriend because of you. So, thank you. Tell me about it. Yeah, tell he, me about that. He was wearing a shirt with your face on it, and I loved it because I love you. And I went up and hit on him, and now oh, it's thank you, man. three years later. <laughs> there you go. Oh, so you have any children? Not yet. They, they have a dog, oh, though. Man, work on that one. Work on that. Yeah, my dog is good for now. <laughs> you think you think your dog you think your dog is good till you have children? That's that's fair. that's true. I can't smoke with my dog. <laughs> That's right. We're, we're big animal lovers, though. Um, I got eight turtles. Uh, what? I got five cats and a dog. I know you're an animal lover, too, though. Uh, how many pigeons do you got right now? Well, I, I got probably um, 600. No, I have 400. What? No, sh really? 400? Now, do they all have names? Yeah. No, you know, I, listen, I got rid of them uh, 600. Wow. Oh, man. Damn, dude. Uh, wait, so there's a, a viral video going on right now. Uh, have you heard about it, like, on Twitter and stuff, uh, when you met Chad what Ochocinco? Happened? What happened? I met him. He's a decent guy. Yeah. So, yeah, so it was, like, you and Chad Ochocinco, and I guess Chad had, like, a camera guy with him or whatever. Do you do you, you remember this? No, I thought I told him. So, like, uh, I guess, like, you didn't realize that the camera guy was there and he was with Chad Ochocinco. But, like, is everyone, when they meet you, are they, like, kind of kind of scared of you at first? I, I, know, I don't know how anybody feels. I'm not a I'm psychic. I'm not a medium or nothing. <laughs> no, because like even though we're doing this on the phone, I'm still kind of terrified. I mean, this is Iron Mike Tyson, man. No, you're you're afraid of yourself. Yeah. You're afraid of your perception of fear. That's true. That's true. I, I feel like I feel like you're a good guy. I feel like I feel like you're you're a teddy bear. I mean, you have you have a whole new life uh, now. You got you, you got your. Know, you don't know me. You don't know if I'm a good guy or not. You don't know your perception of that. I'm a good guy. I think I like I to think. think that you are. You have this whole new life now. You got your your uh, incredible cannabis business, Tyson Ranch. Tell me about that. Tyson Ranch is the state of the art um, marijuana cannabis uh, resort, and it's um it's well living, so to speak. And you can go to we have a we have a um, university where we can discuss about extracting the CBD from the plant and the DVD and all that stuff. It's really state of the art. Stuff and stuff more sophisticated than I can articulate to you. You have this, you know, this this tour. You're doing like the one man show that we'll talk about. You're coming to Borgata here in Atlantic City. We're really excited about that. Your second time coming and doing that. And you got your your cannabis business. You got your uh, your podcast, which by the way, Hot Boxing is like the best name the ever. Best name. Thank you so kind. Yeah, we're we're big fans of the podcast. But is there ever a moment in your life where you just want to like hit someone again? You know what I mean? No, 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 no. Those <laughs> things are over. But I know I'm. I know I'm capable of doing it though. You're so good. But those things are over. I just Aww. figured you probably like watch TV. You're like, man, that guy deserves a punch. That guy needs to go down. But I guess not. I guess you no, moved on. Because listen, check it out. If he makes me mad, then he's my master. Ah, ah okay. That's a good way to look at that it. That is a good way to look at it. Yeah, I don't. I don't. I'm not addicted to chaos anymore. Everybody wants to confront somebody, but don't want to deal with the with the, the repercussion after confronting somebody. The juice ain't worth the squeeze, Mike Tyson. Mm, so to speak. So let's talk about uh, this this one man show, Undisputed Truth, man. This is your second time coming around here yeah. uh, to Atlantic City. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. So, Mike, I watched uh, Undisputed Truth, the original one that I guess Spike Lee filmed, and it yes. was awesome. And I did like seeing the side of you that was obviously like you know opening up and i think that's where we're getting this oh mike tyson maybe he's a tighter bear so i i really appreciated that and i wanted to share that with you and i guess i just want to know what stories will you be sharing this time around because you shared a lot with well listen uh, it's going to be totally different than our first show this is going to be explosive and it's going to be basically about the good stuff not about how i had a hard life and i was a 
tough kid and my parents were hard and I didn't have no money and I lived in the slums. This is going to be exciting, fun stuff where people are going to just be like so rich and as happy as they came. That's exciting, man. So this is March 6th at the Borgata. Are, are you a gambling man? Are you, are you going to do uh, like hit the tables no, afterwards? I gamble, with, I gamble with life. I don't gamble with money. That's true. That's true. I, I'm I'm a sore loser too. I don't I don't like losing on the tables, man. No, get money money is just not a big reward if I win. I am curious though, when you do this hot boxing podcast, who's your fa- who's your favorite person ever to smoke with? Besides your daughter. <laughs> yeah. Listen, uh, I don't know. Uh, who did I who did I smoke with before? Oh, uh, was I forgot the guy. He was uh he's from England, but he but he had a show here before. God, he was a big Personality too, but he smoked with me. I know Tony Robbins didn't smoke with me, but I had so many people Snoop smoke with me. Yeah, did you smoke with like Jimmy Kimmel? Excuse me, Jimmy Kimmel, you smoke with right on on the Hot Box podcast. Yeah, Jimmy smoked. Did Jimmy smoke? I think he took a hit. I think he took a hit. I'm not sure. (laughs) I was trying. I was trying. I was trying to get um Doctor um Kirk Kirk Smart. What was the guy named? Ah, uh, which William one? William Shatner. Yeah, I was trying to get him. Oh, my <laughs> God. That's great. What a visual. <laughs> He's a beautiful person. William Shatner is just beautiful, sharp, smart. I'm telling you. Who's your dream guest outside of William Shatner to be on the hot box? Ooh, I don't know. Donald Trump. <laughs> really? Maybe I'm going to the, um, I'm going to the um, D.C. And I'm going to the lawn and with my hot box and, and I'm going to interview some of the people and get their opinion. Then I go to the White House and hopefully... Mr. President want to talk to me. I think Donald Trump needs a hot box a little bit. Yeah, I think he's awesome. So, Mike, you're doing, obviously, so much, and you've accomplished so much. What's next? What are some big goals for you? What kind of crazy things do you want to do? I just want to um, live life and yes, um, prepare to meet God in a particular time in my life. Uh, before we let you go, uh, this is a, a radio station here in, in Philadelphia. We play, like, top 40 music. I'm kind of curious, what is Mike Tyson listening to these days? It varies. I might be listening to Phyllis Hyman. I might, and then I might listen to these guys from down south rapping. Watch the left hook, Goody Mob, and those guys. It, it, you know, it varies. It depends on the mood. Yeah, that's who we are. We we're not the same person. Um, perpetual, the same person. That's true. Like like if I'm working out, I'm listening to Eminem. If I'm like chilling out, I, I listen to Frank Ocean. Yeah, I'm the same way. Well, Mike, it's so good to uh, to talk to you a little bit. Uh, anything else you want to tell the city of Philadelphia before we let you go? Um, the city of Philadelphia is a beautiful place. I fought in Philadelphia before, and I have a great deal of respect for the residents of Philadelphia. We're definitely going to come to the show. It's March 6th, your one-man show, <laughs> backed you. by popular demand, Undisputed Truth at the Borgata. Grab your tickets. You do not want to miss Mike Tyson. And uh, we appreciate you uh, spending some time with us on the podcast, man. Hey, love, brother. Oh, thank you, Mike. Hey, have a good day, man. All right, love.